Hey, what's up? Today we will be talking about how to use NPM packages with your site um, with Velo. Uh, specifically, we'll be covering Moment.js. So I'm going to start by sharing my screen, and we are just going to go through this together. So let's get started. Um, I have a completely new editor. All I've done so far is just turn dev mode on. And on the very left hand side in the code panel here, you'll see uh, an area for code files. So if you scroll all the way down there, you'll see NPM packages. I'm just going to click on the add button to install an NPM package. So what's really cool with Velo is that we can actually use um, some of the most popular NPM packages with our site. Uh, the one we're looking for today is the third most popular. Um, right here. And you'll see there's a side by side with how to use this on your site and even like a little example code sn snippet, um, which is pretty cool. So you'll also see the original documentation from the GitHub um, site. So that's easy if you wanted to open that up and, and see more about how to use this specific package. But for now, I'm just going to click install and we can now use it uh, with code. So now that I have that, I'm going to X out of this. Um, and I can now, in my IDE here at the very bottom, just write a simple import um, statement. Import moment from moment. So that's kind of how we can use it now with um, whatever we're trying to do with our code. So I guess for this example, I'm not really going to use the canvas. We'll just console.log a bunch of stuff. Um, so you know you can always use the JavaScript um, date function if you want to. Um, we can also use moment. And it will essentially give you the same thing, except for with moment, you can now like parse and um, manipulate the dates and um, you can also set it up to work for different time zones if you want to. So that's um, one of the things that uh, Moment has above just using the uh, date object uh, with your JavaScript code. So we can now see on the on ready here. Let's let's test this. I'm gonna just create a variable. We'll just call this um, JS date, and I'll use date. Um, new date, if I can spell that right, right? Um, and we'll just log this so we can see what this fits out. State. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with moment. So um, you can see the differences between the two. Um, this will actually spit out the same thing, but I'll show you how you can manipulate this um, a step further. So with um, this, I'm just gonna declare maybe like end date, right? And I'm just gonna call like moment. Right, and then we'll log this as well. I'm just gonna label this so I know exactly which is which. Cool, so now if I preview this, we should see the exact same thing pop up in the console. All right, so the JS method here, it's giving me the current date and the time. It's just saying Eastern Standard Time, which is true where I am. And with moment, we're given a whole object where we can call different properties. Um, the underscore D here, this key is correlating to the value, which spits out the same exact date as um, using the JavaScript uh, date object method. So if I go back now, um, there are some shortcut functions that you can use uh, within the uh, new date function. Um, so you could do like, you know, dot get uh, date, get day. There's a bunch. Um, what's really cool with Bello is it will auto-complete uh, a bunch of these functions on hand. So let's say I wanted to get the full year, for instance, that will spit out, you know, the year. Um, with moment here, I actually have more customization. So I can, I can always just do a uh, format. And if you look at the documentation, you'll see how you can format that specifically. Um, but I know uh, off the top of my head, it's just with the Y's, the capital Y's. So that should, if we preview this now, that should give us the exact same value. But if I wanted to add, you know, month and year, I would have to save those different variables into 
um, a different property and then uh, add those variables together in a string. So that's the one downside with the um, new date method versus if I use moment, I could just um, format that directly in the format function. So I could do like something like that if I wanted to. And we can preview this and um, this spits out, you know, the month and the date. So um, it's really helpful for, you know, simplifying your code. Uh, you don't have to do as much logic. Um, there's a really cool like um, function that's in the documentation um, from now, which will do that calculation if you set like a, if you wanted to set like a timer and, and calculate, you know, how many days or what's the time between X and Y. Um, so those are a few uh, really great use cases for using Moment. Um, so yeah, I hope this helped. And I mean, this is very basic, but um, hopefully you get into it and you can use Moment more in your, on your site if you need to. Thank you.